hi what's going on y'all welcome back to my channel if you are new here please hit that subscribe button and if you are already following me thank you welcome back today i'm going to be taking out my three month old knotless braids as you all can see they actually don't even look that bad to me but right now i'm just trying to show you the length so this is how long they were i couldn't show you like the full length only because i was too short but these braids went all the way past my leg so this was really long like it passed my butt and then it was like all the way down to my leg so super duper long braids um they were starting to get heavy and they was also starting to smell anytime you can smell your own head you know it's time to let them go so this is how my roots was looking as you can see I expected more but I ain't had that much so therefore I decided that it's time to let these braids go y'all I was gonna keep these in even longer a lot of people don't know that I was going to keep these in longer but anyways back to the video as you can see this is how the braids look at the end and the next braid that I'm actually going to be showing you shows like my new growth with my roots and y'all, when I say I had so much new growth with my edges, that's what I meant to say with my edges. But look at that. Look at all that new growth on my edges. The edges was growing. Now that right there, that's a two for one deal, a two for one special. You can't beat it. Now, if y'all see the top of my head, Y'all will see, I don't know, maybe I'm tripping, but I felt like I was going a little bit bald, like I was balding in the middle. Um, I don't know, I feel like I overthink stuff, but it did kind of look like I was going bald in the middle. So if you see what I see, comment down below and let me know that I'm not tripping. But if I am tripping, comment down below and let me know that, girl, you tripping. What's one of the black girl's favorite things to do? We like to look at the hair after we cut it to make sure we ain't cut our real hair. You wanna know why? Because we always think that our hair is longer than what we cut. Why we think that y'all? But that's exactly what I thought. I thought I cut my hair, but I didn't. And I actually went into full panic mode when I cut all these braids out. And look at me, I'm doing it once again. You wanna know why? Because I'ma forever think that, but who cares? I'm just gonna dance. So after all of that hard work of cutting, this was my outcome. And when I said I was so happy, it was giving Jada Pickett set it off braids, you see? And all I'm doing is shaking my hair because my hair have never been so light. When I say them braids was heavy at first, and when I cut them down, I got some movement with my head. I can move my head, y'all. But anyways, let's get back to the video. It's time to take these braids down. So if y'all are not taking down y'all hair while doing karaoke, I don't know what y'all doing. Because if you know me, that's what I do. I do hair, I take it down to some music. Who ain't doing that? 
But anyways, as you can see, I got almost the entire back done. I got the sides done. My hair is so matted. So what you seeing right now is what you're just getting. That's not like the actual length. My hair was so matted into my scalp. You can't even see the actual length. So the hair just wasn't given. You can see the dirt balls, all of that. But the hair is definitely looking healthy. The ends just need to be clipped because they are a little see-through. But all I'm doing is just twisting this hair up a little bit to keep it out my way. And then this is just how I move on to my next step of taking down the next amount of braids. So I am officially done taking the braids down. As y'all can see, here's my four sections. I know this was probably the longest seven minutes of y'all life, but guess what? I'm trying my best to keep y'all entertained. So I hope that me talking to y'all is working because I'm doing nothing but being myself. But for some reason, this video is giving me Moesha's diary. And the reason why is because I got the music and the way I'm talking to y'all, I'm giving y'all real life tips real life me yeah it's giving moesha but anyways as y'all can see this is my hair i'm trying to separate it it's super dirty it's matted oh my goodness look at my face it's like uh why is this happening to me but let's continue with this video So right now, I am about to detangle my hair. As y'all can see, I got my spray bottle, I got my scrunchies to section out my hair. So I'm just splitting down the middle, splitting to the side, the back, all that, tie it up, mm-hmm. Just that simple. Then we're gonna go ahead, tie that other side just like that, and then we're gonna do the back. And then, as you can see, I keep bending down because I keep forgetting to grab stuff, but I'm grabbing it right after, but yeah so we're just spraying it with that spray bottle i got water in here and i also have a little oil that way it can go through pretty good you know it can detangle real good but i just spray as much as i can and then i just brush thoroughly from the ends all the way up to the roots so i just take my time and brush that's why i'm fast forwarding you know because this would take forever to watch but yeah i get it real good make sure it's detangled um you always kind of want to detangle like before you actually wash your hair because this alone can get reckless and we don't need this to get reckless you know So I did wash my hair. Look at my face. I'm like, oh my god! Like the shrinkage is so crazy. This is why I don't wear my hair out curly or anything because my shrinkage is ridiculous. But yeah, this is how it's looking, and what you see is what you get. Like I said. All right. 
right y'all so we dyeing our hair so i'm just taking some grease going around my skin you know like my forehead a little bit underneath and all that stuff just to make sure that no color get on my face now i do regret dyeing my hair with that dye because it did nothing for my hair and then again my hair was kind of black but to me i feel like it was turning brown and now i wish i could go back and do burgundy but that's besides the point so yeah we're gonna do some black dye i'm just detangling again i got my grease on my hair and we are gonna open that pack and get to dye. So this dye was so loose like when I say it was like super liquidy I actually hated it it kept dripping like it was dripping down my neck down in front of my face and I'm like oh my god how do I get rid of it even when I did like all the instructions on like the box and stuff it said blow dry and all that stuff that made it worse that made it leak even worse so if you're gonna do this get a different dye something that's not like this this dye was very watery i don't know if it was the store i got it from because um if you watch my old videos i dyed my hair with this dye plenty of times but for some reason this one did not take and this one was super watery so i guess i got a bad batch So once again, this stuff made the biggest mess. Um, like I said, it was super watery. You see like all the stuff on my forehead that drips. It leaked all the way down, like from behind my ear, all the way on me. It's on my shirt. So um, yeah, it was just a big mess. And I would not buy this dye again. I give it a zero out of zero. So the first thing I do is go in with some heat protector. You really can put as much as you want. I'm not a stylist, so who am I to judge? Put as much as you like. But I just go in, detangle my hair once again. As you can see throughout this whole video, we detangle. That's what we doing, we detangling. So yeah, we just going in with that. And then I got my spinny wing blow dryer. I take this, I blow dry it, and I spin it up to get it nice and straight. And y'all will see that in a little bit.
that dye definitely changed my hair texture. Um, that's why I went through it with the blow dryer so many times. Normally it did not take me that many times to go through my hair. But when I say my hair was not soft, it was like the weirdest texture. Like as you can see, it's really stiff. Like I don't know what that dye did in my hair, but the texture was just not it. So I went in with some more heat protector and now it is time to straighten my hair. Originally, we was just gonna do the blow dryer, but when I see my texture change, we gotta go ahead and straighten it out. Now, most of us still have anxiety from our childhood. So as you can see, I didn't go all the way up to them roots. I wasn't gonna get burned and ain't nobody popping me. Yeah, I tried to wrap my hair. If you know me, I do not know how to wrap hair, but I did my best, as you can see. <laughs> ah, my hair is just not getting it. It's not, it's not what I wanted. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. And I feel like, I feel like my hair is in like that awkward stage. You know, when you're growing your hair out and it's like that certain length that just makes you look funny looking. That's what's going on right now. Like, I'm at this, this length currently that I'm not feeling. Where the brush? Because I can't find my big comb, but this ain't coming out. It's plenty. But yeah, my hair's in that awkward stage. That awkward length stage. It is not good. And when I wrap my hair, I didn't put no curls or anything in it. That's why I look so, I look so basic. So basic. Sure, my pajamas ain't making it look better. Probably just got me looking so crazy. But this is how my hair turned out. Um, I, I can kind of, I feel like when I wasn't dyeing my hair, when I was just letting my hair be natural, um, my hair had a bit of a texture. Like even when I was straightening it, the texture was like much better. So whatever chemicals that they put inside that jet black, um, whatever they put in there it did change my hair texture so i really don't like that and then um also the dye didn't even work y'all my hair is still the same color like you can still kind of see some brown in my hair like my hair was i don't know what's going on in vegas but my hair was like turning brown and i don't know if that's like my natural hair color because i haven't seen my natural hair color in so long um because i used to always dye my hair and then i, I kept doing jet blacks after so my hair was really brown and it's still brown, so I'm actually upset about that. I wanted my hair to be jet black um, for, for the fall. I was going to do jet black or I was going to do burgundy. Since my hair was so brown, which I should have went into the camera closer, but since my hair was so brown, I was just going to put like a burgundy rinse on it so I can have like this deep dark burgundy, something real cute. Um, I was going to do that for the fall, but I said, no, let me just make my hair look real shiny, real real cute and black. And then I put the dye on, my hair is not shiny, it's not real black, it's still kind of the same. And it even changed the texture of my 
my hair. So I'm just super irritated about that. Because like for some reason my hair just don't feel the same. It don't feel the same and I can kind of smell it still. But I did rinse it all out. I made sure I did that. I even washed it afterwards too. Not washed it, but I, I conditioned it. But the conditioner said it now we rinsed it. Um, so all of that's gone. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair, y'all. It's in an awkward stage. Alright, y'all. So I decided to do a side part. <sighs> yeah, I really don't know what to do with this hair. Like, more than likely this gonna end up in a ponytail. That's just what it's giving, because this is not it. And I tried to do this style that looks like this, but when I wear my hair like that, it makes me think about middle school. About when like girls used to put their bangs in front of their eyes. So I'm like, nah, nah, let's not do that. So, anyways, yeah, this is how I got my hair right now. Um, I don't know if y'all know this, but I'm using a new camera, which is a little bit better. I'm still adjusting to it, um, because I feel like the settings be moving as I talk or as I move. So that's just something I gotta figure out. But so far, I like it. Um, I like how the camera blurs out in the back. But yeah, I'm gonna start putting this camera to use. I bought a new camera so I can vlog more. So. Let's get these videos out. I can, I can push these videos. I got this new camera. It was some thousands. A whole bunch of thousands. So, yeah. Let's, let's drop this content. Um, But, yeah. I got to figure out my life in a little bit. Right now, this hair ain't getting it. But, yeah. This is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing the jacket with the bodysuit. So, that's just what it is. So, I will see y'all later. Mm -hmm.